Hello everyone, welcome back to another segment of Success at the Bar Finals. I hope you're doing great and to aspirants to the bar, I hope you're preparing for your exams because it's getting closer and closer. So many people have asked me to make a video on um, portfolio presentation and everything about it. So that is what this video is about today, your portfolio presentation. How do you go about it? What is really involved? What and what do you have to know? It's not such of a big deal, it's just something is straightforward. So let's just go into it. Okay, immediately after your law firm placement, you'll be expected to, you know, do your portfolio presentation. Um, as it is in Lagos campus, so it is in every other campus. For Lagos campus, the presentation spans up to two, three weeks. So students are divided into panels, and um, each panel consists of a lecturer and uh, one lecturer, law school lecturer, and one adjunct lecturer. That's the second person is. Um, coming from outside to assess you so to say okay so i'm just going to use how my presentation was so i can throw uh, more light on how everything works okay um during your uh, before you went for your externship you were told that you're going to write two essays one is ethical dilemma and the second is your law firm law office management these are the things you'll be expected to feature in your presentation so in your, in your portfolio presentation you you need a powerpoint presentation you have to prepare a PowerPoint presentation a very short one your slides could be between 10 slides and 15 slides not so much because there's no no much time for you to you know make an elaborate presentation all you need to feature in your PowerPoint in your slides is um, your court placement what your court was about what you learned during your court attachment the procedures in court just highlight them and then your law office placement, what did, I, what did you learn? What did you notice? Just highlight what you learned, not so much, just highlight. Like you learned how to draft a deed of assignment, you reviewed a contract, you went to court, you observed court proceedings, just highlight them. And then you have to go into your ethical dilemma. Highlight the main focus of your ethical dilemma. What is it about? You just highlight it, maybe one or two slides, and then you go over to your law of the essay you wrote on your law office management. So you know what you need in your law office management. It's about oh, what is, is it a small, medium, or large law firm? Um, how how do they? How is their bookkeeping? How is their library? You know things like that. You just highlight them. It's really about telling your uh, your lecturer telling your supervisor how your externship was this was how my court was this was my judge this was what i learned during the procedure this was how my law firm was this was my principal and this was my supervisor during my law firm these are the things i learned and then this is the ethical dilemma i came up with during uh, my externship this is uh, the essay i wrote about my law office placement that is basically what you have to feature in your slide so after you, when you're done with your slide you need to put it in a flash so because when you go to your panel you have to you know um whatever sometimes you can go with your computer but it's most um it's most preferable you go either both with your computer and with an external drive a flash or something that your powerpoint is in so when you go into your panel just feel confident all they want to know is did you always attend court sessions were you in your law were you committed in your law firm placement they are not there to put, or put you down no lecturer will want to do that but just show that you know exactly what you're doing whatever you put in your slide please do me a favor try to know exactly what it is because there's no particular like <clears throat> there's no format that you say oh this is how this supervisor is going to go about it it is either the supervisor will ask you questions from your logbook or just ignore your logbook, go to your slide, ask you questions. Some of them completely ignore your slide and your logbook. They just ask you, like me, immediately I went in, okay, they went through my logbook and I was called and then they were like, okay, how many slides do you have? I was about 15 slides. They went through the table of content in the slide and they were like, okay, that's fine. They now turned to me and were like, okay, what did you learn during your extension? I just started saying things. So when I, when you are asked such an open question, please and um, please endeavor to restrict yourself to what you really know. So I just because my court was a commercial court and most of the proceedings there were garnishy, 
I just told them, okay, when I was in court, I learned a lot of garnishment proceedings. I talked really much about it. And then I asked me, okay, how about your externship? What did you learn? And I just said, said one or two things I learned. And then it just popped up one question. Tell us about the different kinds of, um, AD, um, different kinds of ADR mechanisms. Tell us about it. So I ran through it. I mentioned so many. I mentioned arbitration, mediation, cancellation. I mentioned it so much that they had to stop me. So what am I trying to say? When you go in there fidgeting, when you go in there feeling, oh my God, I'm so scared. I don't know what to say. They are going to like try to put you down, make you feel bad and feel like you don't know whatever you're doing. But when you go in there confident, they're going to be really impressed. I'm like, okay, whatever I ask her, she, she seems to know. So they may not even ask you so many questions. So that's really much about your portfolio presentation. If you have any further questions, send it to the comment section, subscribe to this video, like and share to your colleagues. So thank you so much for listening. I hope this video actually helped you. Thank you and do have a nice time. Bye.